Hi everyone, I'm Silwolf and I'm going to be unboxing this Mama Surprise Minis little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, like, okay, I guess it's a playset but it's also battery operated. If you remember I did do the Mama Surprise guinea pig set last year, that proved to be quite popular and a lot of people were interested in it for Christmas. This is the Minis bunny set but you can also get the mouse as well. Um, so basically it's like a mini version of the guinea pig set. So your well, rabbit in this case, will have um, two, three or four babies. Now with the guinea pigs, the guinea pig had three babies and that was that. With this one it's a surprise. It's a bit like puppy surprise but kind of robotic, I don't know. You know, the puppy surprises from the 90s and they did bring them back again. Uh, so yeah, you, you basically, the surprise is how many babies that the mum rabbit is going to have. So as you can see here, this is the packaging. It says, when will they arrive? Mama has two, three or four babies. It's Lil Bunny and it's from the Little Live Pets uh, collection as well. So in all honesty, the Little Live Pets um, have been going for quite a lot of a few years now and they do make nice quality products. It says, repeat to play, seven plus surprises. Uh, so you feed the mama, you can give her water and the babies will come out. You don't know how long it's going to take, so who knows how long this video will be. Shouldn't be too long though, uh, because it's not too long for the guinea pig. So, and you could also speed the process up. So let's get this one out of the box. Okay, so I've got the top part. Let's open this. It's always an interesting challenge getting into the packaging. Little Live Pets is made by Moose Toys. Moose Toys bring us also a lot of other neat stuff, such as the Bluey collection of houses and figures and things. I'm quite fond of Moose Toys. Right, so here's your, your little box of items. Items inside. You've got accessories, birth certificate, paper straw, and an instruction manual. It says do not discard, and it's in a few other languages as well. I believe it's Spanish and French. Uh, so we've got... Nothing much in, in there. No, no, nothing in there. You've got these little twisty things, which basically... Unfortunately, I'm using a very flimsy tripod for my phone, so I'm very careful not to touch it or knock the phone over. I did nudge it there, but everything's fine. It's all good. Let's get these little plasticky things out of the bottom. Put them to one side. And then we've got this here, which is... For the lettuce. I think it's lettuce. Oh, I think it's celery actually. Which is what the guinea pig had. I believe the guinea pig had celery. So you've got the celery there. There's the little live pets box. And you've got the water bottle here. I'll just cut the water bottle off like that. That's the water bottle. And place all that to one side so what have we got here we've got the bunny the celery and the water bottle and you can't quite see that i'll just lower this slightly there now you can see everything uh so there we have it right we've got a few bits and pieces on here so first of all we've got a bit of tape on the water bottle take that off the lid comes off so i'm guessing you can fill this with water this is the door to the bathroom. I can't get to water at the moment, so we'll have to uh, hope that the mum rabbit doesn't need water to sort of have the babies. That's if you do fill it with water, you might not. Let's find out. So we've got our box of instructions and things here. It's actually in two sections inside the box. And in this one we've got a little birth certificate. It's got four babies on there. Uh, so I'm guessing it shows you the maximum amount of babies so that uh, they can just put the same one in every box no matter what amount you have. Little live pets, that's the instructions. And then in the top part here we've got bedding for the rabbit. And there's something else in there as well. It is sort of little rubbery headbands. I think or they could be collars actually actually to be fair they're probably collars 
like little things, necklaces or collars that you put on the rabbit, not headbands. Why would rabbits wear headbands? That's a ridiculous concept. Maybe to keep their ears out of their face. Right, so here we have all our bits and pieces. And this here has also got a piece of tape over the top of it, so we'll just peel that one off. And they, oh, it's also got one on the side there. Obviously that's to keep the door from flying open. So I look around here. You've got, this is I guess where the babies come out. You can lift it up there and you can also put them back in for the repeat play. There's a place here to fix on the, the water bottle. And there's the mum. Just, just pull us forward. There we go. The mum bunny inside there. Obviously the bedding will go in with her. Okay, let's have a look what we do. Oh, if we could only find the English version. Mum and accessories. This shows you the, um, the mouse. But it obviously applies to both. The mouth. Celery goes in the mouth. Uh, I think. Shut this again. Yes, she's actually attached to the bottom of the. She's attached to the bottom of the, the hutch. This is fun, isn't it? It says to just twist them. Remove these three locks. Oh, to be fair, it probably needs a, a gentler touch than what I was doing, which is kind of forcing it. Are they facing the same way? I wonder so if I... She's moving about inside there. If I just turn that a bit, so it goes this way. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's that one. So if we get her out, there's another one in here. That you have to kind of wiggle out. Let's take that off. There we go. Okay, now that we have freed the rabbit and all the other bits, this, I'm guessing, can now go in there. I'm just being nosy and looking at the mechanism inside it there, you can see. Just to kind of see how it works. Right, so hatch placer, bottle mount, bottle spout hole, front door, top cover, cover button, water bottle and straw bedding. Babies and accessories, caring for mama. Okay, care for mama and she will eventually have babies. So I'm guessing it's pretty much the same as the guinea pig one. You've got to feed her by putting the celery in her mouth. Place straw bedding inside the hutch. Place mama inside the hutch. Ensure the front door is closed. For best results, place mama on the right hand side. I'm guessing because the babies pop out on the left hand side and otherwise they'll be falling on her. Fill and attach water bottle. Now I haven't actually filled the water bottle, so I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of putting it in there. There we go. Let's just say we don't have any water at the moment. So here's the bedding as well. So pull that out, pop that in there. The bottom of the hutch does have like a texture on it, so if you don't have the bedding or you lose the bedding or whatever, it doesn't really matter. You can also make your own because it's just shredded paper. So we've got Mama here. She doesn't appear to have an on-off switch. So let's give her her celery. Make sure I'm putting it in the right way. Oh, look at that. That's cute. How do you know when she's ready though? All right, I've given her some celery. Wait. 
Mama is ready to have babies and sure hutch door is closed. Wait about 60 minutes the babies will be revealed. Okay, so what we have to do here, this doesn't do anything. Feeding her doesn't do anything. The whole thing is based on the water. That acts as a timer. So basically, you fill that with water to the water fill level, which is there. You wait an hour and babies will come out. So I'm going to have to end this video and return to you in part two. Oh, it shows them as, uh, it does actually show them as headbands on the mice. Don't know if it's the same with the rabbits. Accessories will not fit onto these babies. Only those ones. Birth certificate. Oh, it's a bib. And the other one's a bow. Oh no, the bib does go on around its neck and the bow goes on its head. Draining the hutch. So, the whole thing is actually based on water. Like I said, after play, remove water bottle and straw. Keep straw for future play. Tip hutch over a sink to empty water from a spout hole. Reveal your babies again. Push cover button and lift up to remove. Place babies in chamber and return cover. Slide tab until it clicks into closed position. Place mama and straw into hutch and closed door. Put the bottle in place on the hutch. Water not needed. This time babies will be will immediately be revealed. Oh, okay, so if you play it again, the babies will be immediately revealed and you don't need to put any water in there. So it's only the water's only for the first time you do it. Fill and attach water bottle. Attach bottle to hatch. Click spout into hole. Push the bottle in all the way so that it is straight. Add water to fill line and replace cap. So the water drains out of there, drains into there, and I'm guessing something inside it. We'll have a look in a future video. Actually, um, makes the babies come out. I don't know where they come out, but we will find out. So pop her back inside. We'll put her in this way in here because that's where she's supposed to be according to the instructions so we'll just close it up and I'll fill it with water and I'll get back to you before I continue uh, I did fill the bottle to the water fill line and as soon as I filled it the water drained out of it so I put more water in and it started leaking so when it says fill it to the water fill line you just fill it to the water fill line it will drain out and uh, don't don't put any more water in it because it's yeah. Mm. Um, apparently, it takes forty to eighty minutes for the babies to appear, and I've worked out where they come from. They come from a hole that's up there. I don't know how the whole mechanism works, but like I said, we'll look at that in a future video. We will be right back. Okay, guys, I've gone off. I've uh, had my tea. Um, I checked on the rabbit uh, after an hour, no babies. So I've, like I said, gone off, had my tea. It's been nearly two hours because I just did other stuff. At the end of the day, it would have been nice if I could have filmed the birth, but I just didn't know when it would happen. So when I do a video that um, does the whole birthing thing again, it has it pretty much instantly. So I can film it then. But if you've seen my guinea pig video, you will know how it happens, at least on that. But as you can see, if we look in the hutch, I can see about three babies in there. So let's open the hutch and have a look at the new arrivals. So first of all, we've got a little grey one. This one's got hearts above its eye there. It's quite cute. And one paw in the air. And we've got the little grey one will not stand up or sit up. So oh he sort of he sort of does. We've got this one here. There's a happy little bouncy bunny. It's kind of got a, a cutie mark there of uh, moon and stars, like my little pony. 
which is I actually really like that idea that's really cool and they've got little symbols on them so we've got one with the hearts over its eyes one with a little cutie mark and we've got this one here which has like a little crown on it as you can see there so um the little uh head bow and the um little bib thing that came with them you can put it on their head or round the neck but these two you can't do it with because that's what the instructions said if i can find it again let's have a look here there we go so the ones that are shaped like on all fours and the little one sat on its bum there with the hearts above its eyes you can't put them on those you can only put them on the ones that are sitting up so which bunny are we missing then let's have a look right so we've got that one the moon and stars we've got the hearts we've got this one with the crown we're missing the one with the flowers just on its uh, little rump there so we've got three there's all the different symbols, the birthmarks, you can tick them off. I like the idea of the birthmark, it's, a, it's really cute. And uh, again, it, it just takes me back to when I was a kid and I enjoyed playing with My Little Ponies. But there's very definitely three there, I don't think there's any more. They just all toppled out. And that's that. So after you've had the babies, you just drain the rest of the water out of the hutch and you can do it all over again. Now. I'll talk about the mechanism and everything later on, but we will just have a little pier in here if we can. I think you press this in here, which opens up that, like this. I've got to be careful, I'm dripping water everywhere. Oh, it's just come off. Um, so that's what we see there. And now I'm really confused because I've taken this bit off. As you can see, there's nothing in there. It's in here. Is I'm assuming where the babies came out. And I'm not sure if you can get in that part. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, okay, it's got a mechanism where it pulls out. We will have a look at that in, an, in a different um, video because this one's gone on for quite a while. I'll just pop that back in there. And I will show you how it works like I did with the mama guinea pig. Also, it will be empty of water by that point. I was dripping a bit on the floor and on my hand. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I think it's a really fun playset. It was 20 quid, which I think is really, really well worth the money for what it is. Um, and that's what I paid for it. I don't know if it was in a sale. I can't remember, but I paid 20 quid for it and I got it from the entertainer. Um, so that's all for this video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed and if you want to check out more unboxings of neat stuff you can click over the boxes that come up below. You can check out my Etsy and New Monday stores, uh, make plushies and take commissions and all that good stuff. Or you can buy me a coffee on Kofi if you enjoy what I do. It all helps. So stay safe, stay healthy and keep being awesome. This is Silver signing off.